Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Carrie Rolled On Show, where we spend 30 minutes or so per week, month, <laughs> oh, whenever I decide to do these nowadays, um, but when we spend 30 minutes or so having conversations that matter to the entrepreneur's body, mind, and business. I am your host, Carrie Roldan. I'm a wife, a mother, a runner, uh, a best-selling author, a personal growth junkie, and your total business BFF. Uh, recently, I've come to be known as the Sixth Sense Strategist, and I help women entrepreneurs to do their business and their marketing in alignment with their highest truth. So if that resonates with you, if you're feeling like, like, hey, that is something I need, uh, why don't you go ahead and head on over to schedule a free consult with me. You can do that at carryrolledon.com forward slash apply. So I'm super excited about today's conversation. It is all about this idea of doing our life in our business um, in alignment with our highest truth. And what is the best way to do that and still be visible and still get clients? Um, and my guest today, Nancy Jutton, proposes, and I happen to agree, um, that speaking, whether it's on a live or a virtual stage, is really the best way to do that. So I want to introduce Nancy and hop right into the conversation. One, because I love her so much. Two, because everything that comes out of this woman's mouth is gold. So let me give Nancy a proper introduction. Um, Nancy Jutton is the get known to get paid mentor and she shows speakers and experts how to get seen, heard, celebrated and compensated for their expert status. Thousands of speakers, experts, and authors around the world attract clients, speaking gigs, and media attention now as a direct result of the lessons she sick she shares <laughs> to support their success while using her velvet boot and it is she gives like the most amazing uh, gentle kicks <laughs> uh, to kick them into an entirely new gear luminaries including alex mendozian sandra yancey laurel langmeyer and uh, luminaries on the rise such as myself uh praise her for good reason her systems and methods guides her guide her clients to be uh, magnets at the first glance for new clients, prestigious speaking gigs, media interviews, and joint venture partnerships um, with thought leaders and influencers and um, influencers, I don't know what to call them, worldwide. Um, you guys, I don't know if you know those names that I just gave you, but these people are big deals. And uh, Nancy is like sweet and unassuming and a freaking powerhouse. And I'm just so grateful to know her, to be associated with her, to call her a friend. Um, and I definitely want to send you guys somewhere right now. Well, not right now, but today. So um, I'll put this link near the recording, but I want to give it to you because she has a limited time replay of one of the best master classes I've ever heard. It is called The Three Best Ways to Get Booked on Live and Virtual Stages, Even If No One Knows Your Name. And you guys, Nancy, like, over delivers and then some. Um, in this master class. So I want you to catch the replay. You can do it at carryrolledon.com forward slash speak. Okay, Nancy, I can't wait to have this conversation with you. So um, let's, hello, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, Carrie. It's great to be here. And just on a technical matter, as I'm watching us, it says Carrie's network bandwidth is low. So I don't see your mouth moving. I see a screen of you uh, looking pretty, but I don't see you moving on the screen. I don't know if that's the same experience that our guests are going to be experiencing. I thought I'd let you know. Oh, now you're mo now you're moving. Now it's looking much better. Awesome sauce. Great. Well, Thank you for letting me know. That's the worst. Um, and that is just the way uh, internet has the technology has been these past couple of days. I know. <laughs> I've experienced some of that myself. So now that now that we've had that moment, well, now we're totally BFFs. And for all of the people who are watching, awesome, awesome. Yes. <laughs> I'll for sure put that in the text when I send this recording out is bear with us. It gets better. <laughs> all right, Nancy. So um, I just gave some pretty amazing credentials when I introduced you. And, um, but I happen to know that 
you weren't like the most excited speaker when you first came to be speaking. And of course, even then eventually teaching people how to get speaking gigs. Like this comes from your experience of being a super reluctant person to get on stage. So would you mind sharing a little bit of that? Yeah, I'd love to. You know, I was a journalist. I was a publicist. I was really comfortable with the written word and making big noise through the power of the influence of my pen. And that is how I made, you know, lots of money as the owner of a public relations agency. And that's how I actually paid my way through college by winning scholarships by writing essays. So if anyone can, you know, the biggest power I have is the power of my pen. But when I was first getting started in business, I was working with a mentor and he said, it's only like 30% of the people that take in information with, with, with written word. If you only focus on the written word, you're losing out on 60 more percent of the people who learn differently, whether they see you in person or they, um, they hear you, they see you, but you're only speaking to one third of the people out there. So this was what really polarized me. He said, I know you can be successful, but if you don't speak to groups, one arm of your success will be tied behind your back. And if you're happy with that, I'll help you the best that I can. But if you're ready to slay that, I think you'll accelerate a whole lot faster. And when this was told to me, I'm thinking to myself, shoot, I'm going kicking and screaming to speaking. I'm going kicking and screaming to speaking. And that's what I did. Because mathematically, which I don't ever talk about math, but why would you leave two thirds of your upside on the table because you don't want to step up? So there was a whole lot of activity on my part to overcome fears, deal with my mindset, watch TED Talks, study with some of the best speakers out there, and really commit to mastery. So step by step I go, and every time I take the stage I get better. But I would just say to those who have not yet considered speaking as an option, it is the single most powerful way, the most intimate way for people to see, hear, and celebrate you and know without a doubt that you are the person that they want to work with. And if you're not doing that, it could be that two-thirds or more of your upside is just lost in space. And that's why this is important. I couldn't agree more. Um, it's interesting because there's so many people in the internet space talking about being visible. Um, and Nancy, just before we went on, we were talking about um, visibility. We were talking about what's changing in the internet space, um, the online marketing space. But um, there's a difference between visible and relatable, <laughs> right? Visible and like, there's a human I want to work with. Um, I don't know. Do you want to speak to that a little bit? Yeah, I love that. And you know something? It takes courage to show up who you really as who you really are. So often as newer entrepreneurs, for example, they're studying the masters and maybe trying to be karaoke singers of other people that they admire. And you can get a certain distance forward by following the yellow brick road. But when you step into who you really are, your secret sauce, what makes you special, different, quirky, amazing, authentic, transparent, whatever you want to call it, and you have the courage to be that for your audience, then they can really connect with you at a deep level. And I am on the other side of 40. I confess that technology is not my favorite thing. I have um, a very tenacious spirit. I have been very transparent in sharing the ups and downs of my 16 year entrepreneurial journey. But what I'm noticing is that the more of me that I bring forth to the stage virtually or otherwise, the more I can be a light to other people who are just like me, who are looking for someone who can show them the way who they may identify with the same quirky missing pieces, foibles and challenges that I have. So I think it's been really empowering to say, you know what, tech's not my favorite thing, and I'm doing it anyway, and if I can do it, you can do it too, and I've got solutions to those problems, and I've got people that can help me, and, you know, I've got a multiple six-figure business that I operate from my home office with my barking dog often at my feet, and if I can do that uh, with the bag of tricks that I have to bring to the party, well, you can too, and if you don't know how, well, I can certainly show you the way. I love that. And I love that as you're talking about like the foibles, my telephone was ringing in the back. 
I was muting myself. <laughs> um, okay, so I want to just ask you about that because you said celebrate your quirks, and I know you've really come into that, and you've even like made it really part of your business plan. Care to share? Care to share a couple of uh, quirky Nancy things? Oh, quirky Nancy things. Well. I just, you know, the technology thing is not my favorite thing. Ask me to do math, we're in big trouble. Uh, 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 you know, I'm not a Tarzan kind of person that's gonna boast about how many zeros are to the right of my income like so many people will, will, will do today. Today, I think, you know, one of the things that I love to do is celebrate the clients that I have that are getting to those kinds of outcomes because when clients achieve that, it's so much more credible and compelling than whatever it is that I might be accomplishing in my own balance sheet. Um, I wrote a manifesto actually called Build a Brilliant Business That's True to You. And I'm happy to share that with anyone in your community who wants to see it. But it was just a very empowering thing to write what a brilliant business is to me. And I think I have it over here somewhere, but it's like, um, you can make a lot of noise by listening and leading from the side. You don't have to be pounding your chest. Um, be the kind of, um, I wish I had it in front of me, but if you want to see it, I'll happily share it. And I guess the big idea around that is if you want to build a business that's true to you, of course, I'm going to say that speaking is a big part of that, especially, because it's such an intimate and powerful way to connect with folks. But when you take a stand for what you believe in and how you're going to build your business and making your industry a better and kinder place because you took your place in it, people resonate with that or relate to that or they don't. And creating a manifesto of your own is something that I think is a really powerful thing to do because it polarizes people. They're either drawn to you or repelled by you. And either way, it's fine because what we really want is for more of the right people charging forward to say, you're the leader that I want to learn from. And I feel like we're a perfect match. And here again, I think it takes courage to say, this is what I stand for. This is what I believe. I don't believe in get rich quick. I'm an overnight success that took 10 years to build and I don't apologize for it. I don't apologize for the journey that I've taken because it's made me humble and appreciative of whatever it is I've accomplished up until now. So beautifully said. And I just want to um, add a couple of your superpowers because I've seen them in action. And then um, we'll talk about how we'll, we'll hop back into speaking, but um, I just want to say, Nancy, one of my favorite quirks about you is your ability to quickly, and I know you do this in the training, um, which we're sending people to, which is carryodon.com forward slash speak. You're able to so quickly, like, find the soundbite or, like, pull that nugget of gold out of even just, like, a, a couple minute conversation. And then my favorite thing about it is how delighted you are by that. Like, <laughs> I found it. Oh my gosh, this is so good. And that was the other thing I was going to say is you're such a celebrator of other people's success. Nancy is one of the biggest cheerleaders I've ever seen and um, just a selfless giver. And you guys will, you'll, you'll get that. You'll feel that when you go to this masterclass. Well, you will be well so since you brought that up, because yesterday after the masterclass, I stayed on long to answer people's questions and you know, you can say that you're good at something and you can write marketing copy to say that you're, you're going to help people, but better to demonstrate in the moment what you're able to do. So there was a lady on the call and she says, I'm a healer and I really resist templates. They've never worked for me. I can't put the right words in to make the thing sing. You know, I, I just don't know that what you're talking to me about is something that's going to really help me. And I said, well, what do you do? She says, well, I work with people. And I said, what do you work with people to do? She says, I help them resolve their digestive challenges. And I said, so when people, is it true that some of these people might have had these digestive challenges for years and that have struggled and not to have a normal, healthy life because of it? She said, yes. And I said, is it possible that within as few as three months working your proven system that they could live life without that discomfort and put it in the rearview mirror? She said, yes. I said, okay, so you help people who struggle with digestive challenges overcome lifetime of discomfort in as few as three months with your proven system. Did I get that right? 
She said, oh my God, I've been struggling with this for months. How did you do that? I said, well, you started the conversation saying that templates don't work. And I tuned into that. And I started asking some questions that are in the template that I, that I recommend. And in a, in a few seconds, I turned it around. I said, maybe you're resistant to thinking that you're the, you're the only one that has this challenge, but business owners everywhere have this challenge and they need a brilliance reflector to help them name and claim what's special and differentiating about them. And that's really one of my, my greatest gifts. I don't consider it a quirk. I think it's a gift. And so I can see you, I can turn it around quickly and you might have been struggling for years with that and having to suffer the economic consequences of not having clarity. What if you could get to the other side of that quickly so you could just get on with it? That's what I'm talking about. Well, that's what I'm talking about too. And you're right. It is a gift. I feel like the quirk about it is your little giggle afterwards. I know. Because it's so fun. It's so fun. It's like, it's like magic pixie dust. If you actually... You know, one of my lessons for people is, you know, sometimes people lead talking about themselves all the time. But when you actually tune into other people first and take a genuine interest in what they're trying to accomplish, what their big objectives are, and you offer a suggestion or idea that can help advance towards their goal that actually works, they're going to remember you far more than they ever would if you had led with, look at me, who I am, why I'm cool. Take an interest in other people before you take an interest in yourself. You can build a powerful bridge to greatness and, and opportunity and strategic partnership and all kinds of neat things. That's been one of the things that has really made the biggest difference for me is to be interested in other people more so than I'm interested in promoting myself. Which is a beautiful segue into speaking, actually, Nancy. Like, I don't know if you did that on purpose or not, if that's part of your genius. <laughs> <laughs> but that is such a beautiful segue into speaking. And um, actually, the topic of your, of your training, which, again, if you guys haven't written that down, carryrolledon.com forward slash speak, um, you're definitely going to want to attend Nancy's master class. But let's just talk about that um, in terms of, like, okay, if you take the focus off yourself for a minute and realize what is the need of these people in the audience that you serve, which does mean that you need to know who your audience is. Mm -hmm. um, but assuming you know your audience, you know who you serve, like this woman who serves people with digestive issues, what are the best ways to get booked on a stage or get like to even get started in terms of talking to people about what you do and positioning yourself as somebody who they should go to? Well, excellent question. So before we start pitching ourselves to speak, the number one thing we need to do is come up with a sassy, memorable topic that we want to speak about that speaks to the outcome that their audience will welcome. So for years and years, because I wrote a book called Bye Bye Boring Bio, I did a keynote or, or workshop or whatever format you would want to do. And it was how to transform your boring bio from wallpaper to wow to attract clients now. I'm painting a picture of the transformation. It's for business owners who want to transform their boring bio from wallpaper to wow to attract clients now. I'm speaking to the transformation. I'm speaking to the big outcome that they want. And I'm making clear who it's for in the title. If you can think of a fun way to describe what you talk about that speaks to the transformation and who it's for and the big impact that you make, you're off to the races. First, think about what you're going to talk about and who you're going to talk to. And then ask yourself, what are the three juicy audience takeaway points that the audience will learn at the feet of your wisdom? And don't be so blah, 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 boring about it that they could just phone in the PowerPoint and stay and sleep in. Put enough intrigue and curiosity and excitement in those bullet points so that they want to run through fire to attend your presentation. And then you want to say, what makes me cool and special and the right person to deliver this talk? And then you want a powerful call to action about how they can book you. So here's what happens. When you figure out what you want to talk about, who you want to talk to, what they're going to learn, and what qualifies you as the best available talent, all of a sudden, you start to feel very convicted and confident and clear about your message. So when you go to an event and someone says, you know, we're looking for speakers about A, B, C, D, and E, 
ding, 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 you can walk into that moment of opportunity and say, I understand you're looking for speakers who can talk about how to overcome digestive challenges in as few as three months. What do you know? That's what I talk about. And I'd love to have the opportunity to talk about that for your audience. Bing, bing, bing. But if you don't know what you're going to talk about, you're forced into the conversation of, well, shoot, I can talk about a whole variety of things. What were you thinking I, you would like? Which is the perfect way to trip. They don't want to be sifting through all the stuff that you could be talking about. What if you got known for delivering that signature talk, and when people heard that talk, they saw your face coming? Because that's what happened to me. Transform your boring bio from wallpaper to wow to attract clients now. You know, turn your sizzling, your, your lackluster one sheet into a blockbuster that opens big doors. It's like, okay, I'm speaking to a transformation for an audience that needs an outcome. So first figure out what you're going to talk about and then get yourself excited about where can I find opportunities like that. And I can talk about that too, shall I? Yeah, well, I, this, this is so good. And I think what's so great about it is like you answered my question already because I was like, all right, what about those people who don't want to pick something? So Well, then you're going to be like sitting alone in your room for a really long time. You well, know, generic like, doesn't get it done. Generic does not get it done. You know, you'll pay a million dollars for a diamond in a beautiful blue box but you won't pay hardly anything for the alternative. I mean, do you want to be generic wheat thins or do you want to be a Tiffany diamond? Be clear about what you stand for and what you speak about so people see your face when, and know you're the one that they want. And this is true in business as well. Well, I serve a lot of people and I do a lot of things and I'll bend and sway to what the opportunity might be. Those are the people that don't have any clients. Those are the people that don't make any money. Those are the people that are scrambling with too much month left at the end of the money. You gotta have some courage to name and claim a lane, jump in the pool and reach for the wall. Because if you don't, you're sure not getting to the gold medal. It's just that simple. Don't you guys love this? Nancy's like the sweetest lady and it comes out of her mouth as like so kind and loving, but like that's the velvet boot we're talking about. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, velvet boots getting a lot of exercise lately. <laughs> I'm telling you people, don't judge people. You know, don't prejudge people just because they're nice and kind doesn't mean they're not super sizzling smart. And, uh, you know, that's been something I've contended with a little bit because maybe I don't pound my chest too much. But you know what? There's a lot of power under the tent over here. So don't misjudge. Yeah. Amen to that. Well, and Nancy, because you're sweet and kind, you say it in a way that people hear and that actually are, in, I believe, inspired to take action, right? Because if sweet Nancy is telling me this, right, that's, the, that's exactly the kick in the butt I need. So we've just gotten the kick in the butt. The, well, and then we don't want you to have to join the Nancy Jutton Recovery Club because <laughs> I have heard that there are some coaches that are so tough in the way that they coach that they're, they're killing the self-esteem of the very clients that are belling up to the bar with the big bucks to learn from that. And I just don't abide by that philosophy. I'll find something good to say, and then I'll say, are you open to some upgrades? Because I want you to get the result that you came for, and that means I have to tell you the truth. Are you ready for it? I'll ask permission, but I don't want people enrolling in anything that I offer with the idea that I'm going to rubber stamp anything because I'm here to make things better. And I want you to be prepared to take the medicine because when you take the medicine, you know, I'll give it to you with a spoonful of sugar, but boy, you're going to get a whole lot hotter, a whole lot faster, and it's going to be worth celebrating. And it is, and I've watched you do it for so many people. I've shared with my audience that I attended one of your VIP dinners not too long ago. I'm go coming to the, another one coming up in a month or so and less than a month, a few weeks. Um, yeah, three weeks ish. Anyways, um, I'm so excited about it. And the reason that I'm excited about it is because of the up leveling that happens so quickly. Like I've watched these, these people, other people in the room go like have that transformation exactly um, that you're talking about. You guys, if you go to this training, you will be transformed. So just go um, carryreldon.com forward slash speak. It's Nancy's, I've forgotten the title. It's the three it's best- It's the three best ways to get booked on more live and virtual stages, even if no one knows your name yet. 
And that is my story because I was a no-namer and I just left I leapfrogged over all the other bigger names and how did I do it? I was prepared. Can I share one fun little yes, story? Of course. This is such an amazing story because this is the way it happens. I go to a big, huge conference room in, at, the, at the Venetian Hotel in Las Vegas. There's 400 people in the room. Allie Brown, the entrepreneur for women, is teaching us how to get to six figures fast. I'm in the front row. I'm there to learn what I want to learn. And then there's all these beautiful people, high heels, big boobs, big hair. We're in Dallas, for gosh sakes. And I, it's time for a break. I stand up. I turn around. And who's behind me but eWomen Network founder, Sandra Yancey. She knew me, I knew her. Sandra, how are you? Good, how are you, Sandra? Great, what are you up to, Nancy? Well, you know, I wrote this book, Bye Bye Boring Bio, and I've been speaking all over the world about it in terms of how to transform your boring bio from wallpaper to wow to attract clients now. She started to laugh. She says, that's an awesome topic. I said, thank you very much. She says, you speak a lot about that? I said, I do. She said, we'd like to have you speak about that for eWomen Network. Do you have a speaker sheet? I said, as a matter of fact, I do. It's right here. She says, great, I'll get in, get in touch with you next week when I get back from the conference, we'll book it. It happened on the bathroom break at a conference where 400 pretty people were waiting in line to go to the ladies room. Bring your best to every event that you attend and be prepared to meet people of influence and show up like a pro at hello, because that has been how I have left frog over other people who had speakers bureaus and representatives and all kinds of people hawking for them. I find speaking gigs everywhere that I go. I just was at an, a leaders retreat over the weekend and we had all these little mastermind meetings and I would turn a phrase as I would help people while we're at the dinner table. They'd say, boy, you really turn a phrase really nicely. Do you speak about that topic? I said, I sure do. Just yesterday, three new gigs for me for people who I met at this event where I paid money to attend, where I wanted to be in the company of experts and authorities and luminaries, you go to, you know, the rising tide lifts all the boats. Surround yourself with people who lift you higher and you will be lifted higher yourself. Go to places where people are investing to be in the company of greatness and you will be called forth to be more great yourself. That has been what I have done. It's probably my best strategy. And if you've been hanging around at the free bar or the free meetup, and running into people who are, you know, rubbing two dimes together to hope to buy a cup of coffee, drop out of that club and elevate the people you hang around with. It will make a huge difference in your upside in every possible way. So good. <laughs> oh, so good, Nancy. Um, I had a, I had a thought while you were speaking, but it has escaped me. And <laughs> I, I know that we're, I'm just like, uh, here's what I know. I know everybody in my crowd has already fallen in love with you because we all resonate with this idea of standing in our truth, being who we really are. And um, the crux of what you've said is, yes, do that, claim it, and be ready to talk about it. And that's it. <laughs> Like, well, and then if there's one more tip that's kind of a ninja tip that I go into detail during the masterclass, which is why I want you to watch, is we should all have our own Hollywood squares of celebrities that, are, that have our back and whose back we have. And if you could create eight amazing relationships with people who, for whom your expertise adds something that does not compete with theirs, what do people buy before they get to you? What do they buy after they get to you? And can you create strategic relationships with those people so that you can journey forward, link arms, and be guests on each other's programs, guests on each other's podcasts, guests on each other's live stages? Because together you are more powerful than either one of you are by themselves. And you know, eight people can turn into a Rubik's Cube of infinite possibility if you just take a deliberate approach to building those kinds of strategic relationships. That's what I have done. It is my most powerful ninja strategy. I go into detail in it for the masterclass. Please watch. The masterclass will be live and valid through midnight, December 15th. I don't want you to miss it. So make it a priority. If you've enjoyed this chat, I think you'll really enjoy that. I know you guys will. It's so valuable. The whole thing is valuable, but there, the live, there's 
I'm assuming that you included that in the replay, Nancy, the live. Yes, I go into more detail than we have time for today, of course. Yes, so valuable. So, um, all right, you guys, I know you've already fallen in love with Nancy. You're going to want to catch uh, her webinar that is only up for a limited time. It is carryrolldown.com forward slash speak. I will put that in the comments. And then, Nancy, I'll get a, uh, not the comments, wherever you're watching this, I'll put the link nearby. And then, Nancy, um, if you can send me a link to your manifesto, I'll create a link um, for I'll just share it with share it, the PDF and you can post it and um, yeah I'll share that with you I think you'll, you'll find it very inspiring and I hope it inspires you to create one of your own because people can fall in love with you at hello if they know what you stand for and if you stand for nothing well sometimes that that costs you a lot in many many ways beyond what may be happening in your business I'll just tell you guys, I created, I don't call it a manifesto, I call it carryisms, but it's the same, right? It's what I stand for, it's what I believe, it's my values, it's at the core of who I am and what I do and why I do it. And um, actually it's a lot about why, right? <laughs> and um, I had an opportunity to speak recently and I was kind of nervous and like I wasn't probably as prepared as I should have been. Um, but that was how I started my talk as I introduced myself. I said, this is who I am and here are some carryisms. Here are some things that I believe. And immediately, right? The people who were yeses were yes. They, you talk about like getting them uh, to say yes at hello. And that I had that experience. Like the people who were yeses, anything I could have said after that, they were on board. Anything I would have asked them to buy, they were on board. Um, how awesome is that? Yeah. That is so awesome. Yeah, it was a super, it was super powerful because I'd never shared those up front, like off the bat. And it, um, you know, it was a powerful strategy. So um, I think to the extent that we could refresh people with our authenticity, we will all be so much happier and more successful and serving the people that we're intended to serve and making the difference that we knew we could make all along. So let's go do some more of that. Yeah, let's. <laughs> So you guys, thanks for watching. Nancy, thank you so much for being here. I just love you to pieces. Um, and and I am a fan and on board for whatever Nancy does. Like I'm an, an evangelist and a believer because, right, I know who she is. I know her heart. I know her soul. And I happen to also know her results. So um, anyways, thank you, Nancy, for being here. Everybody watching. Get off this right now and go to carryrolldown.com forward slash speak to catch Nancy's masterclass before she takes it down. All um, right. Thank you so much for being here. I loved it. Perfect. All right. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next time. Mwah. Maybe we'll see you next time. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, that